But what they bring to the table is totally opposite of what men are looking for. I'll play a quick. I'll play a quick. Uh, I'll play a quick clip of a video I made. I made uh, earlier uh, yesterday to pretty much explain what men are looking for and the difference between our standards. This is pretty much a quick video I made yesterday to describe the different type of standards that men and men and women are looking for, especially what they want in a quality mate. Women, of course, you guys already know. Uh, we already know what you want. You guys want, you know, the top tier man. Uh, but this is what if you're looking for a uh, high quality man. This is what men are looking for. But let me just play this real quick. Now, here is what I want from you to meet my standards as a man. And it tells you don't be a hoe, be feminine, take care of your body, stop sexualizing yourself on social media, cut off all your guy best friends, stop going out with your hoe friends, clean and make daddy a sandwich. Ladies, be honest. How many of you felt some type of way when you heard me say that? That is the problem with modern day women. You guys have no problem asking for what you want, which I don't have a problem with. But what modern women don't realize is that your dream man, especially the high caliber man that you want, he is going to have standards too, especially if he's going to marry you. All right. Yeah, that's, that was a quick clip of a video I made yesterday to explain um, that women, you know, uh, you guys are entitled to your standards of what you want, which the white girl in that video showed, which pretty much, you know, is a representation of what most women are looking for. Um, but also men, also, especially men, the high caliber men or the high quality men that you're looking for, he is going to have standards and our standards and men are totally different between what you guys want and between what we want. So like I mentioned in the video, uh, for men, we don't want women who are hoes. We don't want women who uh, already have children. We don't want women who are, who are not feminine. So all these things I listed on that video, are all the things that men are looking for, especially if it's going to take you seriously, especially if he's going to marry you. So to all my modern women out there watching this, you must understand sexual dimorphism or gender differences that men and women have biological differences of what we are sexually attracted to. All women want a superior man. They want a tall, strong, alpha male, masculine, ambitious, confident man that is financially stable in his ability to provide and protect you. What a lot of women don't understand, and I talk about this on my podcast all the time, is that men don't look for the same traits. Men are not sexually attracted to a strong, independent, alpha, masculine, ambitious, and confident woman. Men are always primarily attracted to the beauty and the femininity of a woman. Men are attracted to youth, beauty, fertility, and a woman's feminine traits. Men want a beautiful woman he can enjoy having sex with, he can be compatible with, and can build a long-term relationship and also be a great mother to his children. The biggest turnoffs for men is that men are not attracted to hoes, promiscuous women, women who already have children with other men, alpha men, especially the, the superior men, the men that most women are attracted to and want. Alpha men are not attracted to women who are overly masculine or act like men, but the beta men, the submissive men are. So because of radical feminism and a lack of awareness to know what men are looking for and the lack of self-improvement for many modern day women, there's so many modern women out there today that make choices and behave in a way that Men are repulsed by and, un and unattracted to in order to earn his commitment to invest into a long-term relationship or marriage. So in today, 2021, is, when, is where radical feminism have gone too extreme. Uh, it's not the first wave feminism when it's all about equal opportunity and equal rights. This is like th the third wave feminism, or I like to call it radical or extreme feminism, that is going too far. That women are no longer taking accountability for their poor choices in becoming the type of woman that men are not attracted to.